morning guys here's a quick little video on how I've got my transmitter set up to run the tow boat I'm actually starting here on the dozer which works almost exactly the same way the only reason it's different is I've just configured the transmitter differently this transmitter and I'm sure most has a built-in Elevon setting this is basically an airplane radio and I have airplanes and construction equipment and boats and so I, I use the same radio for lots of different stuff and it works pretty good for all of it but anyway Elevon mixing would be where they're you're blending the elevator control in with the aileron control and then you can also just do standard mixing which you can mix whatever channels you want to mix within the limits of the radio so we're going to look at the dozer first and then I'll switch over to the uh, tow boat and show you the difference but they work uh, identical basically so I'm gonna click on the button here that you just barely see it's a roller button and uh, this is the dozer and it uses mixing channels one and two so here you see that the elevator is mixed with the aileron so when when the stick goes up or down for elevator control it's gonna blend in aileron control and I'm using 100% for uh, left and right so I think the way this works when I go up and down it's going to go 100% left or right for those two actions I could be backwards there I'd, I've never quite figured out exactly how to interpret that but so it's either up and down is going to input left and right or left and right is going to input up and down and then if I go to mix two so let's go back here to mix one that's elevator to aileron and I go to mix two it's aileron to elevator and then here you see that it, if it was turning the wrong way you can you can change these numbers to whatever you want you can even have them less than 100 percent but I in this case I want the motors to turn at the same relative rpm to each other so that it uh, when you go forward it goes straight you could back one of those off to 80 percent and then the the model would have a tendency to turn left or right or something like that but that's pretty much it if i go now to the setup list and monitor this is always kind of handy i think so now i'm this is the elevator stick and the aileron stick if i push the stick straight forward i want the dozer to go straight forward and so you can see now that the aileron goes to the right and the elevator goes to the right because I have motors one motor is plugged into the aileron and one is plugged into the elevator channel so it's you can call it channel one and channel two or aileron elevator whatever you want but you can see now I'm moving the stick in one direction only but I'm getting movement on two channel output so I'm moving two motors and if I go left and right, this would be a pivoting turn. So one track would move backwards and the other would move forward. And I always uh, use this when I'm setting it up to make sure you, you can almost get the thing set up before you even turn on the model. So that's how that works. I'll back out of here now and show you what's different. Oh, that's not what I wanted. And we'll go to model select. And my tow boat is on model number two in this case. And now you'll see that I have mixing one turned on, aileron elevator 0%. I think this really means that it's not doing anything. Um, and this was probably the first thing I ever set up on this radio to mix. And mix two is inhibited. But then we go here to the setup list and go to wing tail. And this is the Elevon, so you can see it right down there. Elevon is active. And now if we go to the monitor screen, you can see that it behaves the same way. It's, it's backwards actually than what the dozer was, but that's ir uh, irrelevant here. That It could be that I have the motors wired backwards, so it, it does what it needs to do. Um, so there I'm pushing the stick forward both motors are going to go forward one motors on aileron and one is on elevator and then I can pull back and it's going to go into reverse and I'm I'm putting in a little bit of stick movement it looks like maybe I have just a little bit of uh, 
one of them tuned down, which I might have one motor that's a little stronger than the other in the reverse. It was causing me trouble. So then there's a pivot, so I'm moving the stick left and right. And here, if I want to go into a kind of a drifting right turn or left turn, I guess this would be a right turn, so the elevator is probably running the right motor. There you can see that it would push the right motor would run pretty good and the left motor is staying in the center because the, the pointer's not moving. That's how that works. Um, and I don't think there's anything else to show you here. But that's, uh, I'll, I'll try to get a video of actually driving the boat and, uh, and showing you the stick movement. But that's how I'm doing it. And then I've got the rudder set up here on the elevator, or on the rudder, actually on the rudder stick. Um, this stick for my boat is what runs the disconnect. I've got magnets on the front of the boat, and then I've got a little steel plate on each one of my barges. And then when I run this, it pushes a little piece of wire, it's hooked to a servo, and it pushes the wire out, which pushes the boat away from the barge and breaks that magnetic connection. And that's how I can move the boat around real easily, pull up to a barge, and then the magnet catches it, and then uh, basically I'm coupled up to the barge. And then when I want to decouple, I extend that wire, and then it uh, backs the boat away far enough that it um, releases the magnetic effect and then I can back away. That's it. I hope this helps somebody. See you next time.